so hey guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing fantastic today's video is going to be a detailed hair tutorial on how i installed this wig it is not a frontal it's a six by six closure and it's just giving me life i've literally been posing with it for the last week and you guys have been loving it too so yeah i'm also going to show you how i got the curls to be like so so yeah let's just get into the video so I did make this wig myself and I actually do do hair now so follow the glam shop if you want to book me to get your wigs done <laughs> and yeah this is just what the frontal's looking like once I've customised it, bleached it, plucked it and added my foundation to the lace to just make sure it's going to blend in and melt good. So the first thing we're going to be doing is just ensuring that the wig fits well putting it on our head ready to start gluing it down I'm then going to start cutting the lace and I'm using small sharp scissors to do this I prefer it because I feel like the sharper the scissors the thinner it cuts the lace I don't know it just works but yeah and I'm also cutting it in a zigzag motion to ensure that you cannot just see like a whole line of lace it's flowing with the hair I don't know it helps it helps it helps so now I'm going to be applying the wig with bold hold and I rarely, like I never, to be honest, I never use bold hold but I've been using it on hair clients recently and I found that they're saying that it, it lasts so I was like okay let me try it with this and it actually did last, I don't mind using it on this because it's just that middle bit and my hairline is back there, I can't use it on my edges so I couldn't use it on like a full frontal because I'm not sticking it on my hair. So once you apply it, I apply one thick layer, wait for it to go clear, then I lightly apply the wig on top of the lace glue. Whilst I'm applying it, I use my fingers to press the lace into the glue. I'm trying to melt it, but I don't press too hard because I don't want the glue to start pushing through the holes. Now I'm just going back in with the scissors to cut off any lace that did not glue down or any lace that was supposed to get cut off that didn't get cut off just trying to make everything look a bit neater at this point it's you like it's not melted it's not what lace wears the lace no you can still see the lace and we're gonna get there so now i'm going around the edges of the lace and i'm going to be using my got to be glued spray and a rat tail comb and i'm just going to be pushing down the edges of the lace and then blow drying it with my blow dryer this is where it starts to melt some people would just stick all the lace on top of the bold hold but I don't really like how the bold hold looks when it's on the edge of the lace. I feel like the got to be glue spray makes it look a bit better so I just use that on like the edge edge front. So it's like the glue is holding the wig and then the spray is holding the edge of the actual lace. So as I blow dry I'm just going to use my finger to press it in and as you can see as we're going it's, it's, it's starting to look better, it's starting to look better. So with this you want to make sure that whenever you're using the comb the comb is clean if there's like gunk on the comb or like built up glue it's just going to make everything go white so ensure that you're wiping the comb after doing it each time now we're going to go in with a silk scarf and i just took this off my robe honestly and i'm just going to use this to tie around the edge of the lace and then we're going to blow dry it with hot heat not cool heat like you would usually hot heat and this is really going to melt everything in and cause the glue to dry once that's done we're going to be cutting some baby hairs and i'm going to be using my olive oil mousse to hold down the hairs i have a detailed tutorial on how i do this i will link it in the description box but you're literally cutting it using the mousse to kind of slick it in place then scarfing it then combing it out so you at the end you're gonna get like some soft baby hairs and it's not gonna look crunchy or crinkly or just like forced it's just gonna look really nice and you're not doing these baby hairs to cover your lace you're just doing it to frame your face and make everything look like finished if you're if you're having to do baby hairs to cover your lace then you haven't metal your lace properly you just want to blow dry it real quick and then when we take off the scarf you'll see the baby hairs are not on every single part of the lace and I feel like that's what makes it look a bit better I don't know and when I leave my actual hair out I do baby hairs so yeah so I'm just using that same spoolie brush to comb out the baby hairs and it just gives it more of like an effortless kind of kind of I don't know look and so you I hope you guys get what I mean anyway Thank you. 
now I'm going to be using some hair wax and I'm just going to use that to flatten the top of the hair get everything to look professional and slicked and sleek and nice now this is how I curled the hair I do actually use crimps and the crimps that I use are from Tony and Guy I will link them in the description box below so it's all gonna be there guys and yeah because I've already crimped it a bit I'm just doing it quickly but exactly how I'm doing it now is exactly how I've done it if you guys really want like a detailed tutorial then maybe that's something that I can get done but yeah just take big chunky sections crimp it and it just gives it a more defined body wave look if you got what I mean because the hair is body wave itself so it did look like this just like that side not as defined but by crimping it you just get it to look proper defined and just proper nice it kind of reminds me of the hairstyle that I think Nicki Minaj had at some point in time I don't know but I like it And yeah, once that's all done, I'm just going to be going back in with the olive oil mousse just to finish off everything. And guys, that is literally it for this video. I love this hair. I have been enjoying wearing this wig since I made it. I have not stopped wearing it. I've worked with Ali Pearl too many times and I just know that their hair is amazing already. Like, look how melted the lace is. The hair doesn't tangle, doesn't really shed. And it's just lovely. So yeah, links will be in the description box. Guys, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.